I have to non-living things. These are stationary. Stationary help us to study. This is a scissor. Scissors help us to cut paper. Pencil help us to write. An eraser help us to erase the work that is wrong. My name is Shriyan Chaudhary. Today I drew a dog which is a living thing. It can play, it can run, it can eat. A dog is the best friend of man. My name is Priyam Shumar. I, class, I, I study in class 3, section A. I, I, today I draw a cat. A cat is a living thing. A cat has 95% DNA to the tiger. A cat, a cat, is a, a cat is a living thing. A cat. Hello, my name is Paula Chakorty from class B. I draw living things, birds. Birds fly in air. It, produ it produces eggs and, and make nests to live. Hello, my name is Adohi Mukherjee and I study in class 3A. Today I will say about non-living things. Bag and pencil box are non-living things. They cannot be produced and they cannot be. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bedvi Bhutacharya. I study 3B. Today it is a plant. It is a living thing. Hello, my name is Dikhija Tiwari. I study in class 3B. I draw, today I draw on the computer. It is a non-living thing. It cannot move on its own. It cannot breathe. Good morning, my name is Karanur Singh. I study in class 3B. I draw a plant. Plant can make their own food with the help of sunlight, air and water. They, this process is called photosynthesis. That is the present in the leaves is called chlorophyll. Thank you. Hello, my name is Arun Prabhasta. I study in class 3B and this is a pen. A non-living thing does not move on their own. A non-living thing does not and I study in class 3A. Today I will say about living things. This is a plant. Plants make food with the help of sunlight and carbon dioxide. Plants give us oxygen to breathe. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Shridhani Mukherjee of class 4A. Today I am going to talk about a balanced diet and how we can achieve a balanced diet through a healthy meal. A balanced diet is a diet that contains all the nutrients in a right amount. A, a balanced diet can be achieved through a healthy plate. A balanced diet consists of carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins and minerals and fats. In front of me is an example of a balanced diet. Here the bread is a carbohydrate, the cheese, milk, egg and legumes are proteins the capsicum and the ca the capsicum carrot and the mango are vitamins and minerals and the nuts are fats the milk and eggs are also rich in calcium which helps to strengthen our bones and teeth the carrot is vitamin a which helps our eyesight and skin and the bell pepper is vitamin C which helps to promote immunity and it's good for gums. Water, water has no nutrients but it helps us and it helps to digest our food and retain our body temperature. To conclude, we should all have a healthy eating habit. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Evelyn Smith from class 5A and I am a little farmer. Today I am standing on my balcony which is also my field. Today I will be showing you the germination process. Sprouting is one of the natural germination process. I have soaked horse gram seeds for approximately 18 hours. Then I wrapped it in a muslin cloth. For the first and second day I saw no sprouting taking place. On 
on the third day, I saw a little shoot going upwards from the sea. On the fourth day, I saw the shoot had grown even bigger. On the fifth day, I was surprised to see that my my sprouts had fu uh, my grams had fully sprouted. Sp having sprouted grams is much healthier and easier to digest. Thank you. My respected teachers, principal sir, and vice principal ma'am. I am Megraj Ghosh from class 5B. Today I am going to talk about the joints of our body. Our body is divided into two types of joints, fixed joint and movable joints. Let us first talk about the fixed joint. This joint does not cause movement in any directions. An example for fixed joint is the skull. Therefore it is called a fixed joint or immovable joint. Now we will talk about the movable joints of our body. Our body is divided into four types of movable joints. In joint, pivot joint, gliding joint and ball and socket joint. We will first talk about in joint. In this joint, the joints work like the hinges of the doors. They allow movement in only one direction. Uh, example for hinge joint are elbows and knees. Now we will talk about the pivot joint. In this joint, the joint causes movement in all directions. Uh, example for pivot joint is the skull joins the backbone at the neck. Next we are going to talk about the gliding joint. In this joint, the end of the bone is safe surface is flat and cause movement by sliding against each other. Uh, example for um, gliding joint is um, the um, wrist and ankle. It also helps us in um, turning, uh, turning, twisting and um, our back. Now at the last we are going to be talking about the ball and socket joint. In this joint the end of one bone is shaped like a ball and the end of the other bone is shaped like a cup or a socket. The ball neatly fits into the socket and therefore it is known as ball and socket joint. It causes movement in all directions. An example for ball and socket joint are the joints in our hip joint and shoulder joint. Now the two types of joints are explained and also the four types of movable joints. Thank you. carbohydrates, protein and fats in, in, in presence of different enzymes. The, digest, the, the digestion of the human beings takes place in the digestive system. The, the main two parts of the digestive system are the alimentary canals and the uh, associated digestive glands. Number, uh, the, the parts of the alimentary canals are the mouth, stomach, esophagus, large, large intestine and small intestine. The parts of the associated digestive glands, uh, glands are liver, pancreas, and salivary, salivary glands. Thank you. Science is the study of the structure and behavior of the natural and physical world through observation and experiments. We love studying science because we get to explore and experiment about a lot of things regarding everything around us, making the subject fun and interesting. This was a science presentation from Julian Day School. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you.